this may look a little odd. Oh my goodness, that looks sick. Oh, that looks sick. And these are the results. This is a photography technique called light painting. You may have seen it before in the form of still wool photography, one of the most common forms of light painting. To take photos like the ones you just saw, you're gonna need the following. A camera with manual settings, shutter speed, aperture and ISO, a tripod, and optionally a shutter release. The result of these photos relies greatly upon your shutter speed. If you're watching this video, you most likely have a basic knowledge of shutter speed and its impact on photos, but if not, Here's a simple explanation. If you've ever played with a sparkler, you may have noticed that when you wave it really fast, it leaves a trail. This trail doesn't actually exist, but as a result of our eye shutter speed. Our eyes have a shutter speed equivalent of 1 one hundredth to 2 one hundredths of a second. This means that our eyes basically don't see light, but instead consecutive images which were each taken over 1 one hundred and fiftieth of a second. The exact shutter speed of our eyes varies depending on age and other factors. Whilst our eyes see at about 1 150th of a second shutter speed, our cameras have a variable shutter speed. When we increase the shutter speed, the trail of the sparkler becomes shorter, as the image was taken over a shorter period of time. When we decrease the shutter speed, the trail of the sparkler becomes longer, as the period of time also becomes longer. When doing light painting, we'll decrease the shutter speed to anywhere between 8 and 15 seconds. This will leave an extremely long light trail. A light shows up in the final result because it is bright enough to expose the sensor. The person moving in the background does not show up as they're too dark to expose the sensor. There are many issues we must regulate to produce a clean image. The subject must stay completely still, otherwise they'll be blurred in the final image. Also, the person doing the light painting must move slow enough that they don't show up in the final image, but fast enough that the light they're holding remains bright. Now that you know the basics about shutter speed, we're ready to get going. Okay, so we're here on location. We're about to take some of the photos that we have been talking about previously. Uh, let's get going. Three, two, one, go. Yep, right down the bottom. Nice. Two other settings must be considered when doing light painting, though they aren't as important as shutter speed. These are aperture and ISO. We won't go into detail about these settings, but we'll tell you approximately where they need to be. To take these photos, you're going to need your ISO as low as possible. On your camera, that's probably ISO 100. This will allow us to have our shutter open from anywhere between eight and 15 seconds without having an overexposed final result. With aperture, I always begin with it wide open. On the lens that I have, that is f4.5. Now you have your camera close to where it's meant to be. Shutter speed, anywhere between eight and 15 seconds, depending on how long you want your light trails. ISO 100 and your aperture completely wide open. Now take your first image. If your image was underexposed, bring your ISO up, maybe to 200 or 400. Keep doing this until your photo is correctly exposed. If your image is overexposed, make your aperture narrower. This might be f9 or f10. If you did this correctly, your final image will be exposed. One more factor that will influence your final result is your file format. If you plan on editing these photos in Adobe Lightroom, you must have your camera on RAW. If not, disregard everything I just said and you can leave your camera on JPEG if that's what you prefer. RAW files is just files with more information. So if your image is slightly underexposed or your shadows are a bit too dark for your lighting, you can easily correct this. With JPEG, not so much. But remember, no one nor any Lightroom setting can fix an overexposed image. Okay guys, we just finished the little photo shoot and you guys are gonna see the results right now.
If you found this video either educational or enjoyable, please consider pressing the like button so others can also be recommended this video. Also, please consider subscribing. Your subscription means the world to us. By subscribing, you're supporting our dreams of one day making this YouTube channel a career. Thanks for taking these amazing photographs with us today and we hope to see you next time. Cheers.